Passport and say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Surprise, surprise, surprise. You weren't expecting another video today, now were you? This is a surprise video. Follow up to the smorgasbord of shit, which you probably just watched. The video in which that one bounced again right here. You just watched this a couple hours ago in his T-54 modified, carried a team of clueless morons. And why am I doing a uh, follow-up video on this? Well, there was a lot of comments. Uh, the video elicited some interesting comments in the comments section. And rather than just uh, a reply to them, I thought I'd do a, a quick follow-up here because some, well, because I just felt like it. Some of the comments, like this one, uh, were legitimate questions. Uh, M. Tavner, he asks, at 1343, I haven't played one yet, but that reticle seems awfully sticky to certain parts of the tank. Is that normal? He's obviously uh, uh, legitimately has a question. He saw something strange in the video and wanted to know uh, what was going on. Thanks for asking the question, buddy. Others were uh, equally perplexed, uh, like uh, Roeger, who said, does he use aimbot? Is there something weird, replay bug, uh, when he shoots at the object in the end, the reticle bounces around on the enemy tank as if it's targeting weak spots, but it might be just that the object is so far away. Uh, you know, other people notice the same thing. Is he using an aimbot? Question mark. Uh, look at what happens to his auto aim. Uh, is jumping from weak spot to weak spot at 1358? Question mark. These are guys with legitimate. They're just asking a legitimate question because they saw something a little strange. And I thank you uh, guys for for asking. Uh, other people noticed the same thing and left comments in a slightly different way, uh, like Frank Dickless here, who uh, commented, notice how the gun pointer jumps between the weak spots of the target. See, he knows, he knows what's going on. The, the, the gun pointer is not just jumping uh, in a strange way. It is moving between the weak spots of the target. He knows this. Other people were not so obtuse in the way they accused this T-54 modified of uh, cheating. Like uh, the red clueless Viking here that said, Oh, looks like the T-54 is activating some aimbot there. The aimbot is suspiciously jumping from spot to spot. Maybe he is not so great after all. But then he is just in line with the rest of his team. Frustrating. Well, let's uh, let's watch that particular piece of the game, 1358. I'm going to move ahead there, and we're going to actually watch what these comments are about. Okay, so it happens uh, right when he approaches this object. He's, he's just shot the TD up the ass, and now he's going to try and aim a... And look at his, uh, his aim dot, his central marker and his aim dot. Moving around. He's... Oh... And that that's what uh, sparked the controversy uh, right there let's why it happens again here he's trying to get a a shot on this guy and this guy is behind cover and he's having trouble aiming on him but he did get a shot there you see that and uh, uh legitimately it does look a little strange so uh, i thank uh, some of you who actually posed the question what's going on there that's a little strange because you've shown uh, the desire to try and understand and learn and uh, uh, just posing the question, what's going on? I want, I want to figure this out. I also thank uh, uh, Dickless and Clueless, who uh, already know the answer in their own minds without any facts. And these are the uh, players that will never, ever understand, even if they watch this video. And uh, let's face it, it's your uh, uh, unfounded accusations of cheating which led me to make this video. So uh, uh, shout out to you guys for helping the whole community. Now I quickly uh, jumped into a training room here with Miss Smooch and I'm bringing my Cromwell which happens to have a fairly slow shell velocity so there's some arc to the uh, uh, to the trajectory of the shell and she's in the KV-85 there and look at this. Uh, when I put my central marker on the tank you see how the central marker and my gun aim point line up but when I move off the tank they don't line up. If I want to shoot over this ridge line, you see my central marker is above the ridge line. I'm shooting over the ridge line. And my shots are going way far away because I'm shooting over the ridge line there. Right now they've lined up because I've put it on the target and I can shoot her. Enemy yeah? I can shoot over the ridge line like this. But if I point it down just a little bit there, see, I it can, uh, above the ridge line and just point it a little lower. Uh, okay, I like to shoot above the ridge line. If I point a little lower, there you go. I hit the dirt. It's because uh, the game senses where your central marker is, and if it's in, like at the air, pointed at something far away, it adjusts for your shell uh, trajectory and arc. But when you're on pinpointed on a target, uh, it uh, saves you the trouble of trying to estimate your shell arc 
by lining those two things up. And when you're playing a, a tank that has an even slower shell velocity, a high arc to the shot, like now I'm in my Sherman with the howitzer, uh, it gets even, there's even a bigger change. And obstacles also cause uh, uh, this to happen. Look, I'm putting out the rock, you see how the two dots are apart and then together, right? But uh, there's other things in the game when you're shooting through uh, obstacles and cover and buildings. Let's find one here. There's, what about these railroad uh, tracks here? Watch this. See, now I'm lined up. The shot's going to go through the hole. But depending on how things are, the hitboxes on those, look at that. You see that? See how the, it's jumping around? Because you can shoot through the openings on some of these trains and others, the hitboxes, it just jumps around like that. You see that? That's not an aim bot. That's basically when you're aimed at a target, the game lines up your central marker and your aim dot. But when you're pointed at just air, when it, you're not actually, for instance, uh, when you're aiming at a tank and you don't have your central marker right on the tank, so the, out, the red outline shows up, uh, those two dots are not connected. You know, when, so look, where's Miss Mooch? She's disappeared. Oh, there she is. Okay, when I've got my, my cent, there's the white central marker on the tank, the two dots line up. Well, when I'm just pointing at the air like this over the ridge line, it is incorporating the uh, shell velocity and gun, uh, the shell trajectory of my tank. A tank that has super fast shell velocity, those two dots are going to be virtually on top of each other no matter what. So in this situation here where he's shooting through buildings and cover and trying to get a shot on the target, he is sometimes on the target and sometimes off. Like watch this, you see the target disappears because he's behind some cover. His markers are jumping around a little bit as he's trying to pinpoint a shot. Nothing strange here, no aim bot, just a great game uh, by that one bounced a lot in his T-54 uh, modified. So. Uh, hopefully that helps out some people that had legitimate uh, uh, questions because uh, it did look peculiar. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, those of you who uh, have the answers in your minds already and are quick to accuse people of cheating, the type of people that uh, have no desire or uh, will to learn and improve just simply rage at people that are better than them uh, by accusing them of cheating. Well, you know, uh, thanks for bringing it up. And in the spirit of no bullshitness, which we pride ourselves on in this channel, uh, Randy made a comment here. In all honesty, the IS-7 made the correct decision by leaving the city there. Why go in alone against four top-tier tanks? Thanks, Randy, for that comment. And you know what? You're right, and I was wrong. And uh, this is the piece of the game that uh, he's referring to. You see the IS-7 on the mini-map there? He was in the city, and he's retreating now. Uh, because of all the campers being no support and uh, he actually made the right move there He pulls back and goes and sits in the hole and stalls the the enemies that took over the city uh, Allowing basically the t-54 to win this flank single-handedly and win the game uh, Although it was fun to uh, to uh, berate and insult the IS-7 and say hey, I'm an IS-7 and I'm sitting in a hole uh, But then uh, when you think of it carefully that a hole is actually a good spot for an IS-7 because he's got a strong turret so, Mr. IS-7, uh, new tanker 47, you actually made the right call. And thank you for being the brunt of my joke. I pride myself in being able to insult and berate everyone equally on this channel. Uh, but we do not accuse people of cheating who are not cheating. Like that one bounced again, uh, who had an epic game. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, maybe some of you actually learned something. I can't understand how a lot of people don't... Uh, know this stuff like if you've ever aimed at a tank you must have noticed or do you have your central marker turned off in the setting go in the settings and make sure you have central marker on uh, because it's really important when you're taking blind shots over a ridge line you can hit people that are behind ridges by just arcing the shell over the uh, ridge line when you have a tank that has a shell that has some arc uh, to its trajectory if you don't have that central marker on and you don't understand how those two points work uh, you're at a serious disadvantage. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that and uh, uh, You see it's important to keep your notifications on because every now and then you get a surprise video and after all that You know what you know what the best part of that video was? The intro let's roll it again La 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 La, la casa de merengue La 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 Oh yeah de la bachata so hot in here. I feel so hot. Would you mind if I take off my shirt? Eh? 
<laughs> you can see my jam, but oh. hey, oh, oh. hey, oh yeah, I take off my shirt and I feel good. Oh yeah, but you got a problem with that, man? <laughs> Hola, Andre, vámonos, muchachos, arriba. <laughs> la 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 la